know this country is not a sheer country. There is one individual, and uh, my brother asked uh, the deputy president, is uh, the senior most, the second senior most in this country, to respect all Kenyans. Instead of him telling us that what uh, work on our shares, basi, kama ni shares pia sisi wakisi, tuko na shares kupitia machogu, kupitia kina ah, watu, Tunaomba tafadhali mambo ya shares waweke kando tujenge inch Now have you found yourself in a situation where you are in a fight and then your friend comes and automatically joins the fight without even knowing what is going on who actually crossed others line and then at the end of the fight you know your friend will be dragging you aside and asking you Kwani nini ilikuwa inafanyika? Who was messing you up? What, what, was, what was the reason? So your friend was supporting you fully even minus knowing what was the cause of the fight. So that is exactly what I saw um, when Moses Kuria visited Kisi and dragged you know, the governor of Kisi County, Simba Arati, into his fight or the disagreement, unprecedented exchange that we have had in the last few days in fact there is this video uh, you can listen kwamba sisi hapa kisi naona ukipigwa eh, kuna watu kuna maseneta wanapiga wewe et wacha tukubaliane kiongozi ni kiongozi wewe ni kiongozi na umeamua kuja katika county zote 21 unajua wakati mwingine huyu ulevi kwa wakati mwingine ni mzuri Eh? Na mheshimiwa ukiweka usi yake nyingi wewe weka kidogo nyorosha hao watu wengine. <laughs> Unajua Moses ndio anawaambia ukweli. Ndio anawaambia ngo ukweli. Wakati mwingine waambie weka waambie ukweli na itabaki ukweli. Especially huyo mtu wenu wa shares ambia yeye ukweli. So you, you you take all that and you also try to look at after that meeting, you know, Moses Kuria came and posted something on X, that is Twitter. And he was very specific. <laughs> and he was sarcastically trying to express himself. So he was saying that based on what happened at that time, and he reminded Kenyans that, you know, prepare yourselves for the hike in fuel prices, um, 10 shillings every month until next year, February. You know, he was then ch saying that I had, I'm being now advised by the people like Boni Halwale and his master. So people have been trying to question who is this master? Who is Boni Halwale's master? And when you try to dig deeper, definitely you will try to get that the master in this case is perhaps who is the second in command now that the president is away. So in other words, you will be trying to see the sense of that uh, messaging that the master of Boni Halwale who also tried to speak against how the likes of Moses Kuria and David Nick came out to express their disappointment or not their disappointment but the reality on the ground and then Boni Halwale also went ahead and said you know add the president to come and fire the likes of Moses Kuria and David Nick so Boni Halwale and Arigadi Gashago were speaking the same language so by the virtue of Rigadi being the deputy president, automatically the master of Boni Halwale here is none other than Rigadi Gashagwa. And I want to encourage all of us who are given the privilege to serve to do so with passion and commitment for the Kenyan people, for the African people. Again, and as I said on Sunday, those of us who have been given the privilege to serve do so with humility. Have empathy with the people that you take care of. Respect those under you. Address them with respect and decorum. It costs you nothing. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Because people are people. So those of us who are here who lead this or that organization, those placed under your care, please 
I've noted something that when Ruto is away, uh, sometimes Rigali Gashagwa is not like, le let me not just say sometimes. The only time that I had Rigali Gashagwa being so steadfast in trying to showcase what he's made of when Ruto is away, that was the time when, you know, Azimio team was having the demonstration, all right? That is, you know, by the time he was having kind of express authority and he could declare some things and they be done. You know, he is pestering them. First of all, those leaders do not give him any regard. And if you want to take that politically ahead, you will try to see that in Ruto's camp, the, the two people, the two topmost who have been at loggerheads, and this one is going to cause, you know, even in the future, and especially when you go deeper into Mount Kenya politics, you know, Rigadi Gashagwa and Moses Kuria are going to be foes in any political conversation that is, you know, handling the issues of Mount Kenya. This is the time we are going to see a new kind of expression between the two. When you go to Mount Kenya, they are not going to reason from the, the same, uh, you know, common ground. They are not going to drink from the same cup. So a distinction has been made. But for Rigadi Gashagwa, you know, we still need to see if he is worth um, the test that he can actually handle things when William Ruto is, is not in the country. And perhaps this is uh, the best time for, you know, William Ruto to know how things can actually run when he's not, he's not around. And somebody was telling me that, you know, you look at the side of Azimio, they do, do not want to get involved so much. So they are kind of enjoying their silence, you know, just taking some time to um, take notes and look at what is going on and let the government fight. So this fight has been reduced to the in-house fighting and the Kenyans who are suffering are suffering based on the government that they actually took into office. So conclusively, you know, when Ruto is away, it is very difficult for Rigadi Gashagwa to maintain a balance in Kenya Kwanza government. You know, it is very much a hill of a task for him to ensure that there is harmony. So if everything were to be left on his hands to handle, right now we will be talking of a different story. Kwa hivyo mweshumiwa wa Gashagwa, nataka tukuombe the fadhali, wacha Kenya ikue share moja. Tumeona hiyo share vile mmeigawanya katika na fasi za kazi, tafadhali, akikisha. Kwa naungia ya shares, anatuambia governors you must behave, ndiposa mpate askari wen. Me, I don't need police officers. Awa wana engine askari wa kutoshi. I'm not going to behave anytime soon to please the deputy president. And I want to encourage all of us who are given the privilege to serve to do so with passion and commitment for the Kenyan people, for the African people. Again, and as I said on Sunday, those of us who have been given the privilege to serve do so with humility.